Hey guys, back at work. Did a self-imposed quarantine for a couple weeks. Um, my son has a heart condition, so I was trying to be as careful as I could, but I have to come back to work. It's just fact of the matter. I have gloves, mask, bleach water, hand sanitizer, everything here with me in my truck. Taking off clothes as soon as I get home before I touch the kids. Taking a shower immediately, all that fun stuff. Just making sure I stay safe. Hopefully you guys are too. Wanted to talk about something that's bugging me a little bit. I just had another idiot on YouTube say that he beat schoolboy in New York. Alexander Beziakov, schoolboy. He said, I beat him in New York. The trick is, and I don't know, he said something about strength. I don't remember. And he said he's a roofer, so that's his trick. And I'm, no, no, he's an idiot, okay? He didn't beat schoolboy. He's not gonna beat schoolboy, okay? Um... If you have, and I've had people say the same thing about me. Thing is, I know everybody who's beat me in competition. Every single person. There is no, there's one person in competition that I don't know his name. He beat me when I was an amateur, and I know he's one of Brad Spine's boys. But other than that, I don't know his name. Everybody else, I know them. Okay, we're kind of a close knit group. Arm wrestlers are. Schoolboy is likely the same way. He knows everybody who's ever beat him in competition. Okay, and. If you are not, one thing I run into all the time is guys go, oh, I'm a, I've been a roofer for so long. I've been swinging hammers. Nobody can beat me in arm wrestling. Just look up Chuck Young. He had that same concept. I'm a concrete worker. Nobody can beat me. Nobody can move my arm in arm wrestling. And he just got destroyed by Luke Kent. Lost $20,000. You know, he, he got humbled and he's now become a good arm wrestler. But at that time, no, I mean, he, he, he thought he was strong because of the work he did. If you think you're going to excel in any sport because of the work you do, you're an idiot. Okay, pure and simple. Life does not work that way, okay? Just because you are seven feet tall does not mean you're going to excel in the NBA. It doesn't mean you're gonna be a good basketball player. Just because you're six foot six and 320 pounds doesn't mean you can play offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys. That's simply not how life works, all right? You have to practice. You have to play. You have to learn the game. You have to learn what you are doing. Otherwise, you are going to lose. And you're damn sure not going to walk in against somebody who has trained as hard as Alexander Beziakov and beat him because you swing hammers or you do ironwork or whatever. You have a strong hand. Yeah, he's going to take your strong hand. He's going to bend it back and make you look like an infant. Okay? That's it. Life does not work that way. Sports do not work that way. You don't get to just walk in off the street and dominate. And if you lie and say you have, I'm going to call you out every time because you're full of shit. You didn't beat me. You didn't beat Alex Beziakoff. You didn't beat Alexander Beziakoff or any other professional arm wrestler. I have that all the time. Oh, I've beat pros. I've beat pros. You don't know. Yes, I do know. All right. You did not beat any real pro arm wrestler just because you jack off elephants or whatever you do for a day and that made your hand strong. You're full of shit, okay? Best arm wrestlers. Todd Hutchings is an engineer. Devin Larratt, former soldier. Travis Bajant owns a CrossFit gym. These guys do not have labor-intensive jobs, all right? Giannis Amelins, physical therapist. You know, Michael Todd, direct sales. These guys do not have labor-intensive jobs. Okay, some do. I mean, Justin Bishop's in construction. Ron Bath is in construction. Matt Mask is an oil rig worker. And it may give you an advantage having that physical job after you learn to arm wrestle and after you practice for years. But if you haven't done any of that and think you're going to come in and dominate, you're an idiot. All right. Hey, hope everybody's having a good day. Peace.